Well, hello everybody. It's just me and my tea again. And as we can see, I have braved the heat outside once again because in the mail I have received the brand new fire and ice bundle from Holo Taco and I am super excited to be doing this. Maybe not so super excited to be doing this in like 89 degree weather in full sun. We shall see if by the end of this video if I am as red as hot take right here, but that will be for the end of the video to see just how sunburnt I get while doing this video. So yes, as I said, it is the brand new five piece collection from Hollow Taco and like I said before, this is the Fire and Ice collection. We have two new cremes and three new shimmer toppers. So going from right to left, we have Cold Slate, Hot Take, Halogen Glow, Scorched Earth, Earth and Freezer Burn. And I am just so excited to be trying out these polishes because it is now officially summertime as of a few days ago. So I am ready for summer sun, summer colors, and summer nails. So with that being said, let us brave this sunshine. And thank you, Christine, for um, wishing me luck in today's um, live stream. I told her I was going to be filming outside and she definitely wished me luck. Um, so yeah, Christine gave me a shout out. So thank you, Christine, for that. And uh, thank you for wishing me luck. Let us brave this heat and try this fire and ice collection, shall we? So starting things off, we have Cold Slate, which is a beautiful slate gray creme. And I cannot wait to see how this creme looks because I'm quite a fond of a nice gray colored shirt or nail polish. I don't care. I just really enjoy gray. And I cannot wait to see how this looks. So let us see how it swatches. So this one is just really nice, quick, and easy. Here is how it looks after just one coat. And I'm going to apologize in advance if maybe the paint job isn't the most professional. I am outside in the wind and the sun, which tends to make the polish dry quicker and be a little less um, cooperative. So if it doesn't look 100% perfect studio quality. I'm sorry for that, but I did want to do it out in the sun so that we can see it in the beauty of sunshine. So like I said, it is a really nice slate gray color. I cannot wait to see how the shimmers look on it. And one coat, it looks really, really good. So let's go for our next color. Up next, we have hot take. And my hot take on this is it is the perfect um, orange undertone red nail polish for summer. It is so stunningly beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is just so summery, so vivid, and it's definitely my hot take on this is it is perfect for that beachy pool party when you just want your nails to be absolutely stunning to contrast with the coolness of maybe the water or the ocean, or if you just want to look super, super gorgeous. So let us try this one on. So here we are after one coat. It is a bit um, more sheer than the gray. You can kind of see my nail peeping through there. So I'm going to give it another quick coat and see how two coats do. So that second coat really does the trick and makes it a lot more opaque and it's definitely giving great hot summer day vibes and it goes really well with the blue toned um, slate gray. So these two actually go really well together. And they almost kind of give me, I don't know, collegiate vibes. Like isn't there a um, college sports team? I swear their colors are gray and red. Leave a comment down below if you know which team I mean or teams plural. So that is our cremes. Now what I'm going to do next 
is show off these beautiful toppers, but I'm also going to paint my other hand with the gray and the red, and then I will put each color over the top of my other hand. So one moment, tease, as I paint my other hand. You know what takes longer than waiting for paint to try? Waiting for the cloud to move so that I can show off the next color. And that is the first of our wonderful shimmers, and that is Halogen Glow. And this one in the bottle right now, it kind of is giving off like a pinky greeny vibes. So it's going to be interesting to see how it looks over one coat black or over the two cremes. So let us get a swatch in and see how the halogen glows. So with just one coat, here is how halogen glow looks. It looks super amazing and it's kind of crazy because right now as I'm filming through the camera lens, it's kind of giving off a goldish green sheen, but me looking at it from above, it's giving pink vibes and it's actually really kind of cool, but also a little irritating how I can never quite film it as I see it. It's one of those things where in real life things are crazier than on videos. So here is how it looks over cold slate. It gives off a nice shiver, shimmer and here it is over hot take giving those awesome green vibes. But when you kind of put it in shade, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up very well. Um, they look so much different in shade than in sun. Again, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but um, over one coat black, it is very obvious. When it's over another color, sometimes it gets a little lost, but once you're in the shade, you can really, really see these colors. So that's just kind of like a tip. Sunlight, it will look amazing over one coat black in sunlight or shade. In sunlight, it's a bit, um, more muted but once it's in shade you can really really see it so or so it doesn't get lost on the polish I don't know am I rambling I feel like I'm rambling if I'm rambling then I guess it's time to go to our next color shall we so up next we have scorched earth which is one that I've kind of been the most excited for and as we can see in the bottle right now with the sun again behind another very lazy cloud, we can see it's kind of shimmering from a gold to an orange. And I'm super excited for this one because over some polishes, it's supposed to look bronze and I'm so for that vibe. So let us see how it looks over one coat black and our other two cremes. So as we're waiting for the sun to return, I thought I would like to mention that memberships for my channel are now live. So if you would like to support this channel for all my tea drinking, book reading, and hollow taco nailing, um, that would be greatly appreciated. You don't have to, but if you wanted to help support my channel, there are three levels. There's a $5, a $10, and a $15, and they each come with their own separate perks, and it, it can help for what videos you want to see next, getting comment responses, polls to help um, decide what I, you want me to do next, early video watching. So yeah, if you would like to join my channel, the button is down below or in the description box down below. So now that the sun has graciously returned from underneath yet another cloud, let's see how scorched earth looks. And um, oh my gosh. It is stunning. It is a beautiful bronzy orange, I'm calling it. It is so stunning. I love it so much. Um, as a summer baby, I'm getting fantastic vibes from this and I am loving it. And on this finger, um, as you can probably guess, I do not have six fingers, so I can't have it be one of each color for each of the toppers. So I did half and half here. So there it is on the red and there it is on the gray. And then maybe if you want to see it under the shade, I don't know if that will even do anything. But yeah, that's how it looks. I am loving it. I am all for bronzy orange vibes that just make you go, wow. Alrighty, let us go to our very cool last topper, shall we? So right off the bat, 
freeze or burn is showing just how beautiful it is with its icy blueness. I mean, right away, just in the bottle, you can see how stunningly blue it is. I cannot wait to see how it looks over one coat black. I think it's going to pop the same way. I think it's Sonic Unicorn Skin. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comics, but I believe the Sonic Unicorn Skin is this same beautiful sapphire blue, and I just cannot wait to see how it looks. And, oh yeah, let's just, without any more further ado, let's just try it, shall we? So here we have Freezer Baron, and wow, look how blue that is. That is so, so gorgeous. And I am absolutely loving it. Now, oop, oop, before I show the other hand, one moment, please. Okay, so sorry about that. So as you can remember, we are outside. There was a fly stuck on my other hand's wet nail polish, so I had to fix that. But here it is, cool, um, freezer burn on hot take and cold slate. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but over hot take, it's kind of giving me like black light vibes. Like, have you ever walked in somewhere with black lights with like a white shirt on and kind of gave that kind of purpley kind of hue? You know what I mean, the, the, the UV colors. Well, anyway, that's kind of what it's giving me there. And then here it is on Cold Slate. Very nice, subtle, shifty blue. It goes very well with the blue undertones of the gray. So, now that we have done our last topper, it is time for the mandatory narcissistic montage. Well, everybody, what do we think? Do we love the toppers? Are they absolutely gorgeous? Or do we love the new fire and ice cremes? Do leave a comment down below telling me which you like better. Oh, and I thought I would mention that the cremes have the um, wide nail polish brush and then the shimmers have the narrow. So. Just to let you know, they are two different um, brush types. And yeah, I think I have thoroughly enjoyed my time in the sun today. Um, we shall see later tonight whether or not I have burnt to an absolute crisp or if I stayed cool and composed in the heat of sunlight danger exposure. <laughs> So yeah, do leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with ye old algorithm. And if you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there so that you never miss my videos ever again. And if I am washed out right now because the sun just came out of the cloud, I do apologize for that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you all later.